Okay, see Lindelof videos. Future value of an annuity with deposits made at specific intervals. When I say deposits made at specific intervals, I'm saying to you that it's not necessarily an annual payment. There might be a monthly payment or payments might be every quarter or whatever. And this is how I would set this up. If you have a TI Inspire calculator, you might, uh, TI Inspire CAS calculator, you m might not want to do it this way. But let me show you anyway. Uh, if you have a TI Inspire CAS, I, I did a separate video showing you a shortcut using something called a um, finance solver. But let's go through this. So here's the picture that we start with. We have the situation where Rejoice Annuity offered an annuity that pays 7.25% interest compounded monthly. If $1,000 is deposited into this annuity every month, how much is in the account after 15 years? This may seem kind of stupid to you that I'm using my little Christmas colors or whatever, but I'm suggesting to you that if I was looking at this all written in black, I would be looking at for specific pieces of information. You're looking for the interest. You're looking for the deposit. You're looking for how frequent the deposit is made and how many years. So this red stuff, I'm just picking this out so you can see, like, why am I doing going where I'm going? From there, once I've found all this information, I'm going to plug it into this formula. And this formula you should have memorized. And it says that future value is equal to payment times that quantity. So I'm going to assume that you have this. And if not, stop the video for a second and write this because this is what you have to memorize. From here, I'm going to start putting this together here. So my payment was $1,000, right? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit Control Division, right? And here I'm going to put one plus, and then look, I'm going to hit Control Division again, just to, right? Then I'm going to take my interest rate, which was 7.25%, which is 0 0.0725, right? And then remember, it was annual interest. I'm, I'm sorry, it was monthly. It was compounded monthly, so we have to divide it that way. I'm going to go over here, and I could write this as 180, but I want to show you where I got it. They are 12 compounding periods per year, right? times 15 years, and you might need to go back in the video to see that, right? But we said how much would be in the account after 15 years compounded monthly, compounded 12 times. I'm going to skip down here, and then I'm going to put this in again, same thing I did before, which is control. Oh, 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 almost made a huge mistake here, right? So here, I'm going to put, remember, minus 1 goes here, right? That's the formula. I'm going to go drop back down here, hit control division, and it's going to just repeat the very top piece, which is 0 0.0725, right? divided by 12. With any calculator, you can do this. Please be careful about using parentheses correctly so you capture everything you want to capture in the top, in the numerator, in the numerator, and what's supposed to be in the denominator is down there. So, but you can set it up just like this. There's no need to do a bunch of intermediate steps because in intermediate steps, you tend to round, and intermediate rounding is the cause of a lot of problems. So, so here it is. I'm just going to hit enter here. I'm just going to go here and hit enter. And this is how much money you will, would have made. Now, the other question that could come up is, how much of that is interest? Well, remember, you deposited $1,000 a month for 180 months. So you could say 100, you could take $1,000, right, times 180, times 180 months, right? So this is how much you would have had. So you could subtract, you could subtract this from this and get how much of that was in interest. So I hope this is helpful. It's not really difficult. What I'd, I can't tell key enough on this that you have to memorize this formula, right? And you have to be able to read the problem that's presented to you. And the problem that's presented to you is this one, and you have to find that key information. You have to find interest rate, how much the deposit is, how often the deposit is, and how many years. So be looking for that kind of information. I feel like I rushed through this a little bit, but I wanted to at least get it done for you guys. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.